Hello, everybody. I just wanted to start my vlog. I don't know how much I'm going to read. I'm not reading tonight because, as you can tell, that there's different screen, I mean, different background. And that's because I'm filming this at our new place. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know how much reading none I'm going to get this weekend, but I am participating in the Billy games. Billy games, how do you say it? And that starts tomorrow, so I'm going to read as much as I can in between moving stuff from the old house to this house. But I just wanted to say hi, and when I read something and I have time, I will update you guys. I just wanted to start the vlog. Night! Morning, everybody. My first full day in my new place. It is Saturday, June 1st, and today starts the Billy O Games. So I'm going to be reading, starting off with two books, Black, we Black Wings Beating and Girl Gone Viral. So those are my first two books I'm going to try to start reading. I don't know how much I'm going to get done read done this weekend, but we shall see. But yeah, um, those are the two I'm going to start with. I started the first chapter with each. It seems pretty interesting. In this one, at the beginning, she was like morphed somewhere because she knows how to hack things and these two people that were famous were breaking up, I guess, basically. And this one started out with um, the twins' father being killed, being taken by the prey. But he was a bad guy. He, he, um, you know, he um, abused his kids, which isn't a spoiler because it's literally in the first chapter. I think it's like the prologue or something like that. Let me show you. I don't know if I, did I show you this gorgeous map? I love this map. It's so dark. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an impossible bird. So that one don't even say a chapter. Part one just says... The girl name, the girl's name, Kaylee, and Fetters, Fetters, something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know what was going on. I'm trying not to talk too loud because it's only a little after six, so people are still sleeping. But I'm going to let you guys go for I can try to get at least a couple chapters in one of the books ready. And I'll catch you guys all later. Bye for now. Look at Cat. Look at Callie enjoying her new home. Look at her. Isn't she cute? She's just a wagging her tail. She's a pretty girl, aren't you, Callie? Yes, you are. You are a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Just rolling on the carpet. I swear she thinks she's a dog sometimes. She likes to, to roll over. <laughs> Look at her. Now she's leaving. <laughs> she said, that's enough of that. Yep. I've read to chapter two. I'm trying to get the number to focus here. But it won't. There we go. You can see page 31, so I'm on page 30. Chapter 2. Don't worry, Callie. It's just me getting up. Look at how beautiful it is outside this morning. At our new place. 
beautiful morning. But I'm going to let you guys go and I'll talk to you guys all later. We're walking our new neighborhood. Kids are all in front of me. Walking single file like they're in school. <laughs> it's a neighborhood. Some of the pretty houses. But I just want to show you that we are walking our neighborhood. Very pretty. Okay, talk to you guys all later. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Just walking the neighborhood. Just walking a little bit. I don't know if Vince went that way. I don't know what he's doing. I really like, yeah, I really do know what really like that house. I really like that house. Okay, Robin, go on before I can get off the grass. It's looking down at the ground. <laughs> but I just want to say good morning where you can see my face instead of the last clip where you just saw the neighborhood. And me jibber jabbing. Bye. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry. It's Sunday now, of course. It's noon. Sorry I didn't update you guys after we went for our walk yesterday. Uh, it was just a busy day. But I did get a little bit of reading done before I went, before we went yesterday to the house, the old house to start packing up stuff. We're almost done with that. We started moving everything to this house. I unpacked some books, so after I'm done updating you on my reading, then I will take you, I'll start another little clip and show you how my book, uh, where my bookcase is and stuff, because it ain't in here. So yeah, first let me update you. I have been reading Black Wings Beaten by Alex London. It's pretty good. I'm on page 141. So I'm on 141, which is chapter 11. There's like 400 and some pages, I believe. 400 and... 422. Let me see. Nope. That's acknowledgments. So there's 422 pages. So I'm almost halfway done. I don't know how much reading I'll get done, like, r right now, but later on I should be able to read some more. Yeah. So, let's walk and I will show you guys where, how my bookcase is coming along. I'll have to turn the camera, of course. I'll, uh, I'll turn it off <laughs> once I get here. So, yeah. once I get there, I'll turn it off and restart it. And show you the the other way but yeah it's out here in the see it Kelly. see it there it is Kelly. sorry my hands are shaking today um we haven't ate yet so my stomach my hands are shaking from being hungry but look Kelly. there's some of my cups up there like right here, some of my Harry Potter cups. And then I got my my Korean dolls. I don't know if you can see that. My husband got that for me when he was in Korea a long time ago. And I got my couple of cups over here. And I got my little Christmas music box that my mom got me. Not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. So far I got like just any type of books here. It's not like any system. And then down here, sorry, my hands are just really shaking. Down here are all book boxes. And then it goes to here, to this spot where Hank Green is. I don't know if you can see it, but where Hank Green is. All that, right? These one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. And all this and all this <laughs> is all book boxes that I still have to read. These are like, um, this is going to be my Harry Potter once I find all my Harry Potter. For right now I have some of my classics like this is the house where Jack lives. 
is the first book my um this is the first book that my um, brother when he was little learned to read so yeah but this is my copy I found it a long time ago and we had the hardest time trouble finding it and I found it so one of these days I'm probably gonna wrap it up and give it to my brother just as a memory thing but yeah, so far I only found one of my Harry Potter Potter books. The sixth one here. This is the one I just, that's the only one I found. And then I got some Harry Potter. Let me get it into the thing. I don't know if that's, uh, that's upside down, but I got my Harry Potters. So far what I found of the, cam of the candles. So yeah, that's how it's looking. And then I got some other Pretties. I might put my doll, my Korean doll, over here because I got some pretties up on here. So yeah, that's how we're doing it. This is gonna be my library area. I want to get like a, I want to get like a, um, you know, like a chair, like a nice chair, and um, you know, like maybe a table for when I'm recording out here. But yeah, that's what I've done so far with the bookshelf. I hope you guys like what I'm doing. But look, it is so beautiful today. It's like 65 degrees. It's gorgeous. Like gorgeous. I'm going to stop for a minute and then I will show you the backyard better. Okay. My husband and my son mowed the backyard today. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? Like this backyard is really, really gorgeous. I love our backyard. And I love how we have all the different plants and stuff. I mean, it's just so gorgeous. But I wanted to show you that. But yeah. Now you can see the backyard a lot better without all that grass. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye if you can see my hand. Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday. And we're getting ready to go to the house. The old house in a minute to start cleaning. But I wanted to give you an update. I read to 288, so I got 100 pages to go. It's pretty good right now. I'd say it's like a three and a half star. So just depending on the ending, we shall see. But yeah, right now it's three and a half stars. And then after that, I know this wasn't on my TBR, but I'm in the mood for a mystery, like a thriller. So after that one, I am going to read Hunt, Hunt, Haunting Annabelle, or Hunting Annab Annabelle. Excuse me. So that's my plans for the day. In between cleaning the place. Today and tomorrow we gotta get all that cleaning done. So yeah, but these are the two books that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish this by t the end of tonight and then start the other one as soon as possible. But I'm gonna let you guys go. I just wanna give you guys a quick update. And yeah, I will talk to you guys all later hi everybody it's monday around 3 15 i finished black wings beating it was pretty good i gave it four stars so yeah i don't really have much to say about it, it i think the reason why i at first i was gonna give it three and a half but i liked i liked the ending and then finally pulled it from a three and a half to a four. So yeah, I liked it. It ended kind of in a cliffhanger, but yet in a way that it's not like, oh my God, crazy. Plus this comes out, the next one comes out in September. So I don't have that long to wait, but I will definitely continue on. It was definitely a four star. So yeah. And now I'm reading Hunting Annabelle by Wendy Hurd. And I am currently on page 82. This one, so far it's okay. Like, the girl went missing, because that's what it's about. This girl, he thinks she, she was kidnapped, and he, like, has, what's that called? Where, um, I forgot how you say the word. Oh, I don't know how to say the word that he has. It's like a, um, God. Well, I don't want to say what it is because I might say it wrong. And I don't want to do that. But um, he killed somebody, I guess. I don't know why he killed the person. It doesn't say yet, at least. But he killed somebody and um, 
got out and then he met this girl and they started dating Annabelle and she started like she left she was leaving and all of a sudden he heard her screaming and he saw her being being dragged off I guess it's kind of confusing but no one believes him and uh, yeah so I guess he's gonna try to figure out what's going on because he um blacks out blacks out, or loses time and um and he's on all this medication. And I forget what that's called, but he sees like different colors and stuff, like air or eras. Eras, how do you say that word? Like blues and greens. Hold on a minute. Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday. I don't know, like seven o'clock. A little after seven. My husband went and took the kids to their last day of school until summer break is over. And I'm sitting here just relaxing. My mom and my sister Diane's going to come and see our new home because I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah. But I started reading Haunting Annabelle yesterday. But and I got to page 140. And I'm just so lost in this book. Like I don't understand anything. It's so confusing to me. So, for right now, I'm putting it down. I don't know if I'm going to DNF it yet. I'll probably come back to it maybe sometime. Maybe at the end of the week, beginning of next week. And maybe I can get into it more. Maybe my mind will be more focused. Because right now, I don't think I'm really, like, my brain's really, like, ready for, like, a um, you know, something that you really have to think about. <laughs> like this book. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just strange and just... Something that uh, is really, like, mind-boggling my brain right now. So, yeah. So, I started, so I picked red, white, and royal blue up to start reading. I'm not going to finish this whole thing. I'm going to pick out another book as well because this one is for um, Books with Chloe and Common Spence's Book Club, Book with Friends. And I want to, like, make the book last so, yeah. But, so far it's cute. I already put, um, one tab. I don't know if you can see it, but if I can find it myself, because it's kind of hard to see, but there's a tab right there. And that's a rose color, so it's, like, funny, favorite scenes, things like that. That one was funny. They were talking about, like, um, what something is, and they were talking about, like, vamp it being, like, a vampire thing. I'll read what it says if I can find it. Yeah, I'll read what it says. Because you guys know I always talk about things as I'm reading. <laughs> but, um, who was it asking? June. I think that's his sister. I always forget if si June is his sister or Nora is his sister. I don't remember. But whichever one, I think that one's his sister. But anyways, she said, Alex, you, te you took... Com comparative, something like that, international governmental relationship things, whatever, what are they? And he says, I think it's the thing where a vampire creates an army of tri-sex waifs, or wharfs, how you say it, and starts having, I mean, it starts his own ruling body, he says. And then Nora says, that sounds right, she's folding her napkin into a Located, oh, a complicated shape on the table. Her shiny black manicured glittering in the chandelier lights. Or chandelier lights. I wish I were a Vescant. Vescant? How do you say that word? June said. I could have my sex wafts, how do you say it, deal with my emails. Alec, I mean, are sex wafts, wafts, wafts good with professional correspondence, Alex asked. Nora's napkin had begun to resemble a bird. I think it could be an interesting approach. The email would be all uh, would be all tragic and wanting. She tries on a breathless, husky voice. I don't know how to do husky voices, so I'm just going to do it in my regular voice. Oh, please, I beg you, take me. Take me to lunch to discuss fabric samples, you beast. <laughs> I thought that was funny. That whole little thing there. Yeah, that was funny. And then I got to the part where where um, Alex finds out that he has to go and spend 
like the day or whatever it is with the prince, the prince, Prince Henry of Wales, because <laughs> they, they got into it kind of in, the, you know, in the book. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I think that's it for right now that I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys all have a great day. Oh, I was going to say, um, I'm going to read, like, a couple other books, like the first chapter of a couple other books once I get to a certain point in this. Because I haven't divided it yet, but I want to divide the, divide these into, you know, chapter. I mean, pages to read. So, I might do, like, 100, something like that. A day. I'm sure to see how many there is. I think there's 400 and something pages. There's 400 and... No, that's, that's the knowledge meant right there. So, 418. 418 pages. So, I'm going to see. So, I'm going to read probably, like... 100, try to read like 100 pages a day, maybe, or I don't know how I'm going to do it, probably not a day, because I kind of want to, um, you know, make it last until the, um, until they have their um, reading thing, so I might read like 100 and try to get at least to 100 and something pages done a week. Until I'm done, because I think the live show is the last Saturday, I believe. But I don't know if it's on Chloe or Common Spence's YouTube channel. I'm thinking it's Chloe's, but I'm not 100%. But yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's the last week. It's usually the last Friday or Saturday of of the month, unless like this month they went to B BEA and BookCon. So they um, had it earlier, but usually it's towards the end of the month. So, yeah, so maybe like 120, 130 pages a week. If I finish it, you know, whatever. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. But, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. I haven't read nothing yet today, but I got some book mail. I was going to show you what I got. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Today was the last, the kids' the last day of school, so now they'll be home more. Yep. Hi. <laughs> Robin's saying hi. She's on the cat, on the love seat. Yep. But I got, this is the first book I've ever gotten by this guy. It's um, by Taryn Mathiar, Mathi Mathi or something like that. The, the Chosen. Look at that, pretty. I love this. And it's red. Nothing on the cover, I don't think. It's hard to tell. Nope, nothing on the dust jacket. It's just like that. Kelly! And nothing special on the inside. No maps or anything. Sorry, my news is driving me crazy. It says, They watched from the shadows, watched the people of the world going about their lives, unaware of the ingenuities, ingen something gaze that followed. So many candidates to choose from. Such potential, but still they hesitate. For this would likely be the last of their contenders, and it would not do to hurry. So they waited, brooded, until they were sure. A boy unremakable, remarkable, I mean, in so many ways, yet somehow ideal for the contest, he would soon be doomed to enter. His mind held the knowledge to appreciate their games, understand it, perhaps even win it. Win it. I've never read any of his other books, so I've never read The Novitus and the other ones in that series. But on here it says, Introducing an epic new trilogy from... Taryn Mathiar, something like that, author of the New York Times best-selling Summoner series. Throughout history, people have vanished with no explanation. A group of teenagers is about to discover why. Says Cade is setting into a new boarding school, complicated, compli, com, 
plating his future when he finds him tra himself transported to another realm. He soon, soon realizes this new world is populated with lost remnants, 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 something like that, from the past. Prehistoric creatures, ancient relics, and strange still people. Cade has little time to adjust, for soon he and his fellow classmates are forced to become contenders in a brutal game controlled by mysterious overlords. But who are these beings, and why did they choose these teens? Cade must prepare for battle, because hiding is not an option. I think I, I haven't been able to get into any books lately, so last couple days, so I'm going to try to read this one. So I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Wednesday. And hi. How are you guys all doing this fine afternoon? I am in a really bad reading slump, so this I'm going to wrap this one up, and hopefully my next vlog, vlog part, part two, will be a lot better. Or, you know, because I'm just in such a bad reading slump. So most of this... As you guys are going to be able to tell, there's going to be, like, books I just recently got. And, you know, when I went for the walk the other day, stuff like that. So, hopefully the next time you see me do a video, I'll actually be reading. But I did get a new book again today, which is Dragon Pearl by Yoon. Yoon? Yoon? Ha Lee? Is it Yoon? But anyways, I'm trying to collect all of his present books that he does for present. I think I got everything so far, but the second, what is that one called? I can't remember the name of the book. But the one with the girl that lies, and then she freezes time. You guys should know what I'm talking about if you guys um, had any of um, his books. But anyways, yeah, I think I only got, I don't have the second part of that one, and I think I have everything else now. I'm not sure I'll have to look at, look for sure, but this one looks so good. So, yeah, this says, Praise for Dragon Pearl. This 13-year-old man comes from a long line of fox spirits, but you'd never know it by looking at her. To keep the family safe, Min's mother insists that none of them use any fox magic, such as charm or shape-shifting. They must appear human at all times. And then her brother gets accused of something or he disappears. I can't remember. I think he disappears and he gets accused of something. Like maybe abandon his, abandoning them or whatever. Or abandoning the post or whatever. I don't know exactly. And she wants to go and find him or or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. But I don't want to go into everything because I don't want to, you know, read it the whole thing. Because I want to be surprised. But look at this. And I love how this feels. But it's blue. And then red, which is really pretty. I love that. Nothing special inside, but I do like the opening right there. That's so pretty. There's no maps or anything that, you know, me with my maps. But I, all, I love how Rick will um, talk a little bit about the book and stuff. I love when he does that. Like that and that page is him talking about the stuff that he does. But yeah, this really looks like it's going to be a good book. There's 300 and... Ten stories. Stories? <laughs> I don't know why I said it. 310 pages. I can't believe I said 310 stories. But anyways. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm just in such a bad reading slump. I think that's last month I did so good. I read like 10 regular books and two mangas. I think that's why maybe I'm having such a reading slump. I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab uh, after this, probably tonight or tomorrow, I will, grab, I will do a video, like a try a chapter video on some of his books. And then let you know which one I want to read. Which one I'm going to read first. And what I want to do is after I read like three books, I think there's, I think I got like five or six books. So when I read three books of his of the present ones, I'll let you know like if I have a favorite of the three, you know, I'll I'll rate them and tell you what my ratings were. 
you know, how I felt about it and stuff. So maybe I'll do that type of a vlog this time instead of this type of a vlog. Of course, I will still do, like, if I get a book or something like that, I'll still put it on here. Unless it's a bit, like, four or five books and I do it, you know. I don't do it on my vlog if it's more than two, a couple of books. Like, book of the month I won't do on here. Just because, you know, that's my my fun thing that I like to do on the, you know, on regular video. Well, it's still regular video, but you know what I mean. Where it's not a vlog form. You know what I mean. But yeah. This is probably one of my favorite covers, though. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? But, yeah, this is going to be an end of part one. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though I didn't get a lot of reading done. I did manage to finish, what, was it one book? Yeah, because I finished, um, uh, what was it? Black, Black Wings Beating by Alex London. So I did finish one book, and I read 150 pages in an, about in another one, which put me into this reading slump, because I couldn't get into it. So I should have put it down after 20, page, 20 or 30 pages of not being able to get into it, but I wanted to keep going, try to give it a chance. And it put me in this reading slump where now I can't read anything, because my mind's just like, whoop, right now from it. So yeah. So hopefully, maybe if I pick a middle grade book... It will help. We shall see. But I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys in my part two of my vlog. Which will be either later tonight or tomorrow. Talk to you guys then. Bye for now.